I got my start in engineering as a teenager when I became an amateur radio operator and built my own electronics. Nowadays, I work on classic cars like my 1951 Chevy Bel Air. I've been in the microelectronics industry for over 50 years, working on IC fabrication and product design, and over 30 years in contract manufacturing. I'm a past president of IMAPS, have co-authored two books, and written 275 technical papers. For the past 11 years at ANSYS RES, I've been responsible for most of the design review projects. Design reviews are very comprehensive activities. We analyze the bill of materials looking for component-related problems. We look at the circuit board from a layout, surface finish, and PCB stack-up perspective. We analyze for moisture sensitivity level, temperature sensitivity level, and the risks associated with electrostatic discharge. We also will look at issues associated with conformal coating, potting, underfill, and other materials that the customer might have in their design. A schematic review might be involved where we'll be looking for electrical performance related issues. From there, it could lead to audits of a manufacturing facility. Take this cup of coffee. We had a customer that had trouble with their coffee maker. We analyzed the design and found that their contract designer had not taken into consideration the temperatures associated with a brew cycle. We reviewed the bomb with the customer and made recommendations for components that would meet their reliability requirements and life expectancy. We then audited their two contract manufacturers. The first facility was to build the circuit boards and conformally coat them. The cure cycle was supposed to be 76 degrees C for two hours but we noted that the furnace was at 70 degrees C and the boards were coming out in less than five minutes. So that clearly the cure cycle was incomplete and the boards were very, very tacky. They were shipped across town to a second facility. All the operators were to wear cotton gloves while handling the assemblies. However, they had all cut the fingers off so that they wouldn't stick to the conformal coating. As such, finger oils from the operators got on some of the components and caused 30% failure at functional test. We resolved the cure cycle, we resolved the cotton gloves, and the yields went up to 95%. Design reviews are the easiest and most cost-effective way to improve your product. Implement it early on, stay ahead of issues, and you can solve things even before you build prototypes.